My name's uh, Ruben Fitzsimons. My background is in engineering, but over the last couple of years, I've found myself drawn quite deeply into the world of uh, small-scale timber production and tree growing. Mum and Dad run a small herd of cattle across um, this property, and we are also grazing a lot of neighbours, even smaller properties. Growing up here, I loved it, I guess. I've always been strongly connected with the bush. My understanding has definitely changed. At some point, it was all the bush, and now it's hard for me to not recognise an individual species, for instance. I'm producing and selling nursery stock, facilitating some tree planting type services. Any harvesting, we're performing ourselves with a small tractor and a winch, trying to be as gentle as possible in engaging with the forest and carefully watching to see how it responds to those adjustments. I am doing some milling on the property. I've got a portable bandsaw mill, and that's been a really critical part of our engagement with the forest. My first personal connection with local land services has been working through the private native forestry application process, assessing the forest and ultimately establishing a plan for it. In our context, this whole landscape was fully cleared in, I think, 1910. Certainly a landscape that has been impacted by farming and the PNF framework has offered an avenue into being able to manage our regrowth forest for its own health, uh, let alone any timber production side of things. The Master Tree Grower course that I'm doing, yeah, I found it particularly interesting connecting with other growers and timber producers. There's a small group of us who are actively saw milling. I've learned a lot already. Definitely some of the more traditional forestry skills, I guess. For example, calculating the basal area of a forest using a, a basal area sweep on a tape measure. Growing up down here, we're always involved in land care. Land care is very exclusively focused on conservation. There are opportunities to engage in tree management, timber production that can have really strong conservation benefits and also produce an economic output. To other landowners, I would encourage people to consider whether there is some possibility of them engaging more actively in their forests. If a landowner wants to consider any form of harvest and sale of timber from vegetation on their property, the only way that that's possible is through engaging with LLS and registering a, a plan for a PNF. Yeah, I've found uh, LLS to be a great group of people to work with. It's remarkable that it is a free service. In terms of vision for the property, I can see us being able to sustainably harvest small volumes of niche, high-value species. We're definitely trying to engage in, in more regenerative agriculture practices. The operation has been gentle on the environment under Mum and Dad's management. We're pursuing soil health outcomes and I'm excited to see how some of these newer practices that we're engaged in, what the impact will be from them in Ask Me Again in another 20 years.